guys! Oh, I messed it up! <laughs> hey guys, it's Shoebers here, and welcome to Star Whatever the heck this game is! I think it's Stardust. It is Stardust. So let's lo- Oh, uh, my friggin- Sorry, I'm not used to RPG controls. Let's load up File 2, and let's head out on our adventure. Alright! So... As you guys remember, we were looking for that frickin' library. Where is the library? The library is near. Yeah. Now, I know I said I'm getting rid of webcam, but uh, I changed my mind. I I think for this series, for certain games, I'm gonna take webcam out, and for certain games, I'm gonna leave webcam in. Are you the library? Eh. I'm gonna go kill myself. One second. <laughs> Sorry. Did I? Did I? Dang it! I clicked out. Did I scare anyone? Did that even register with the webcam? I hope it did. Sorry. I had to. I had to do something real quick. Shh. Come on! Shut up! I'm busy. I'm gonna go find the library. You're the library, aren't you? Uh, let's talk to these people. Hey! Hey! Sometimes I really worry about my dental health. Same here, buddy. Psych, I don't worry about anything. Just kidding. That's a lie, I'm only human. And also, I am a human with a sprained ankle at the moment, so... Gosh darn it. Is her house the library? Eh. Where is the library? Library. Library? Library. Oh, east. I was thinking west. Thank goodness I picked up that suit. I like puns. Good. Sorry for not reading that. I keep looking up at my monitor because that's where my webcam used to be. Now. What can I do for you? Lily needs the 8,900 language pack. Oh, you're Lily's? Lily knows what she's about making AI appreciate puns. I'll get that right up for you. Dot dot dot. Sorry, it's, it's really good smelling soap. I know, it's weird. Deal with it. Here you go. The 8900 language pack. You receive language pack. Say hi to Lily for me. Be lonely. Yay, I just trousled on his floors. Am I gonna have to go back into that mysterious land again? Oh, is that the language pack? Perfect, thanks. I can't believe Matt made you run all over the satellite for her. Tell me about it! I couldn't find it! What the heck? Oh well, at least you know the place a little better. It's sort of quite a small and friendly... It's quite small and... Quite a... Qu quiet... It's, it's sort of quiet and small and friendly! I like it! And we have the ground frames with the real soil. What? Not much like the tower satellite we used to live on. No room for plants outside. Awful. I skipped a line of dialogue. I'm sorry. You can go back and pause it. 
You can only put up with artificial air for so long, you know? Anyways, I'm going to set this up. It's going to take a little bit, though. And you mean, you can water the plants in the meantime. Sure, thanks. I know I left the watering can around here. <gasps> it's you from before! Yes, it's me! What are you doing here in this watering can? I'm hiding from the sloth from sloths. There aren't any sloths here, I don't think. Can I stay with you in case? Of course. Oh, are you done? Oh. Where did you find this that star? In the watering can. Huh, that's strange. We don't have any star flowers here. I wonder if it snuck into the watering can from our lab. You have a s star flowers? Yeah, we used to grow them in the other lab. Oh, I know how to grow them. Uh, do you? Where'd you learn that? Um, hey, maybe in a little bit of leftover wiki got leaked onto your, into your AI. Star plants are actually fairly scarce around here, though. Not to mention it's getting more difficult to grow them. Why? They need a lot of stardust instead of water to grow a star. But when the stars drift away from here, it's much harder to find some. Most of the stars we've watered off have, wa have wandered off or died and s scattered elsewhere. I doubt there's enough stardust on this sa these satellites to grow another star flower. Oh no! I like stars. Don't worry too much. There's still stars out. They are spreading dust or somewhere. <laughs> oh. What's this? There's some stardust on this watering can. Huh. Your friend must shed a bit over time. Incredible. This might just be enough for one plant. Can we grow one? Haha, <laughs> of course. I'll let you tr try it yourself. If you're up for taking the IS train. Yes, please let me go. Wow, you're excited. Good thing because we'll be returning to the lab and to retrieve some work for your AI anyway. What's the IS train? The inner satellite train goes between the satellites in our system. It's kind of a rocket train hybrid. I just finished your program though. We should set that up now. I'll explain more after. Where's my star buddy? Oh, he's in reality now. I like this song. Oh, whoa. Dude! If I could walk up to you. Hello. This is the herd of stars. They are sort of skittish, don't scare them. Oh. Why do you have a herd of stars? These stars need to be cared for. You see, when stars mature from plants, they lose their thorns and become vulnerable. That makes sense. But what could happen to them? They could get cold or lost. Hmm. I don't think thorns would be much help against that. Or something else could try to eat them. Oh, that's terrible. That's why I protect them. It is the most important job. Without me, the stars would be cold or lost. Only one of them, though. You can't have the other. You can't be cold and lost. That's impossible. If you see a star, you should protect and guide them, too. I know a star. I'll be sure to protect them. It's not easy, though. I, it can be hard because you may want to play or lay down and sleep 
for a very long time. But you can't rest because this job is important. And you are very important. I believe you can do it. Thank you. I don't know where you will go, but take this. Obtain chalk. It's very easy to get lost out here. But if you need to, you can mark your path along signs along on signs along the way. Can you tell me I'm saying what? I didn't understand. Eh. Oh, there you are. Ah! Hello! Where did you go? Shut up, phone! Anyways. You were gone for a little bit, so I went looking for you. I'm very far from home, though, and I got lost. I'm very far from home, too. I guess we both... We are both lost. Huh. It doesn't feel that way, though, when I'm around you. It's almost like I'm already home. Yay! We made a happy star. Eh, I'm so tired! Ah! Ah! Oh. Who was it now? Oh my gosh. I need some soap. It's good smelling soap. Exclamation point. Did you say something? No. You made a funny noise. Do it again. I don't know what noise you're talking about. We should get moving anyway. That sound you made reminded me of a dog. I would know because I was a dog in my past life. A dog? I don't... I don't think you've seen one. Well... Not like the one I was. You should tell me about it. It was very exciting. More fun than being a star, I think. That was very noisy. <laughs> oh, I wish I could have seen you as a dog. Maybe you will someday. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's priceless. I think you- I would like to be a dog with you. Not very funny. I think you'd make a very good robot, though. Haha, <laughs> thank you. I AM A ROBOT! I spit everywhere. What? If you were a robot dog? That would be so cool. I'm still not sure what a dog is, though. It's a very furry thing with a t its tail and four legs. I think you would like it. That sound you made reminded me. Dang it! Sorry! Fine, don't come with. Which way should we go? Um, I don't know. I would like to get home, but I don't even know if it's possible. This is a strange... This place is strange. I think somehow it doesn't matter where I go. Eventually the place need I need to go will find me. I have the... I do have this compass though. How does it work? I'm not sure. There's... There's red line that moves around the whole thing in different... Hold it differently though. Hehe, <laughs> you look. It's pointing towards you. We'll follow. You, wherever you go. Who knows if there's a sloth here? I don't think we're gonna find one. But I guess that's true. Alright. Oh, I know what I'm photoshopping into the, uh, thumbnail. 
It's a sloth. Actually, nah. I'll wait till we run into one. It's easy to get lost. Dun. Dun, dun. So nice! I like this atmosphere. I don't know how long I played the game last time either. Uh, I think we're gonna play till we get to the, uh, pack. Oh. Oh! The door has three keyholes? So we gotta find some keys. Uh-huh! It's a star flower. Oh! You're as tall as me! Yes! We are the same height. How lovely! Everyone is taller than me. Oh yes! I'm used to everyone being so tall. Everyone steps on me. How sad. I'm very sad. It's okay now though. I'm glad there's someone else as small as me. It's indefinitely worse thinking than the only one like this. Oh. It's definitely worse thinking I'm the only one like this. I'm sure one day you will grow. In fact, you will become a star like my friend there. It'll happen without you thinking about it. Really? I think so. I guess I will have to see then. It's funny. You talk like someone who is much taller. Ha! It was nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you too. Please take this. Obtained a key. Dank! That's so dank! We got a key! Dun, 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 There's definitely a sloth nearby. Please be careful. Okay, buddy. I'll be... Oh, my God! Two of three. <laughs> the th keys fit easily into the hole. Okay, well, I'm still shocked. Anyone else still shocked? <laughs> They're growing, but how? I wish I would have never run into that sloth. That was much scarier than I thought it was. I imagined like an actual sloth. What was I thinking? This is an RPG. It's not going to be a normal sloth. What am I, crazy? I'm crazy. Definitely crazy. Ah, oh, shoot. I don't know, man. Watch out for those sloths. Sloths are dangerous. I don't want to run into a sloth. There we go. That took long enough. Sloths are... S Son of a... What was that just now? S 
Floss are legit. Dang it, I've already been here. Wait, I wonder if we move backwards. Nope. Yay! Aww. They're so pretty. I like it. There's a blank sign. Maybe someone forgot to write on it. Or maybe the words rubbed off. Hmm. I have a piece of chalk. We should write something. If we get lost or need to find our way back, we will know this place. Uh, I don't know how to. I can do it. Write something. Ah, Such a pretty drawing. Kerchick. I had to take a picture, I'm sorry. It's just, they're such a cool people. Yeah. Hey! Hey! Ah, oh, sorry. Oh, my voice. Can you see me waving my hand? Good. I can hear the lenses refocusing a lot. You should be able to read all of the language used on these sad lights. Give it a shot when you have a chance. I've been reading an interesting article on the computer. Oh, also, here's your IS ticket. Don't lose it! Put it in a safe, safe, safe place place. Obtain train ticket. You'll get off at the first stop. Our lab is the top building. You c really can't miss it. Don't forget to take the Stardust. You'll need to pour it on the star flower in our upstairs lab. It, is, it hasn't bloomed yet, but will as soon as it has enough Stardust. When, then we'll have another star. Can we keep it? Of course. I want to study these stars for a little longer. I would like to, like two star friends. Well, aren't you lucky? All right, good luck then. Be careful. Don't step in the puddles or on flowers. Eh, dang it. If anyone got the joke of what I was trying to do, good for you. If not, then you probably need to pay attention more. Gosh darn it. Such a confusing way to enter a building. Where I'm from, a day lasted only a few hours. It seems so long, but on here the day feels like an entire week strung together. Then the night must be even longer. Take it. Yeah. Welcome aboard. Get on the train! See? I got my fancy soap. It smells like strawberries, and that's the only reason I have it. I haven't even used it yet. It just smells so good! Woo! Oh! I wonder how long this game is, to be honest. I think I'm gonna play for a few more minutes, and then I'm gonna end it off. Actually, this episode can be a little longer. I just wanna get into it. Oh, okay, I could've stayed at that screen forever.
I visited my cousin here today from another satellite. I have never seen so many roofs before. What? Ah, uh, this is a big town, big town, big town, big town, big town, big town, big. This is a big town, big. Well, shoot. The houses on the satellite are built on the top of each other. But... Wow! So I'm on the upper floor? So it looks like to navigate this place I had to go through houses. I don't want to miss any secrets! Are you the person? It's pretty! It kind of looks like you. You're like a white flower. Ah! No, we're gonna start! I like white flowers. I can still smell her. Even though you don't talk much. You light up when you look at that star. I didn't know robots who could do that. I can't look at him. Oh! That's a star you have there. May I take a look? I'm an expert on space. An expert? Can you teach us how to find more stardust? Hmm, hmm. Is that so? Hmm. What does that mean? Shh, robot. I'm thinking. I'm an expert. He is an expert on noisy thinking. Hmm. It's a very strange. This is a very strange star. Cannot tell how old it is or where it's from. It doesn't look very normal. It is quite a unique composition, I believe. That is my expert analysis. What does composition mean? Hmm. It is what makes something up. Stars are made out of dead... St <laughs> stars are made out of dead stars! Woo! That's right, boy. Even... We are made from stars. What? Do you peep grow people from dead stars? Of course not. It's much more complex than that. It's taken many years to become an expert. Oh, you must be very smart. Could you help me find stardust and grow star and stardust and growing stars? I'm only an expert on space. Perhaps you should look for a stardust expert. Hmm. This expert turned out to not be very useful at all. Even the sloths are even the space sloths are more helpful. Oh burn! I don't want to talk to everyone. I gotta get through this episode. Plus, I gotta give you guys a reason to go back and play this game for yourself.
Aha! Dang it! Dang it! It looks like it's the right way though! Wait! Dang it! What? Oh, is this the lab building? Ah, uh, fine. I have I have time for one story. Okay, guys, do you want to hear a story? Which one? You can't tell me. Ah, uh, right. The one with the mountain. Let's go to the ocean. This story is about a child who went to sail the ocean. Oh, I know. The ocean? What is that? It's a large body of water, I think. A body? Is it a person, then? No, it's like a tub, except much larger. Here. There's a picture. Look! There are stars in the sky and water. It's a lot of water. Anyway, here's a child on the boat. The boat traveled for a long time though. Through, I mean through. Stormy waters and calm sunny seas. The child landed occasionally staying only for a few days at a time on an island before taking off again. After a long journey, the bird boat approached the end of the world. Beyond the advanced horizon, the water spilled out into the endless space. The young adventurer peered over the edge with great fear before their ship plunged over the edge of the planet into the vast darkness. The boat heaved, a rock, heaved and rocked, carried over relentlessly by waters as it rushed through the heavens. The young seafarer rode anxiously to avoid stray debris, narrowly avoiding the coll collision after collision. Finally the water slowed, and the adventurer gazed over the edge at the stars below. The boat sailed leisurely on the space river, space river through the galaxy far beyond. The young adventurer admired the stars dotted heavens, uh, star dotted heavens above which and below with great satisfaction. This was at last home. His home at last. Yeah, that sounded really wonderful. I would like to go to the stars. I would love that too. Go away. It's locked. Why? Wait, did I miss something? I didn't miss anything, so... What did I do wrong? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, if this isn't right, um, maybe this is. Talk to this human. Hey! 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 Can't sleep. I keep wondering what's what's gonna happen. What? what? Ow. Hey! I've never met an egg that's that has told us such such a funny joke. What? I wonder what happens when the robots are turned off. It's like a temporary death. Oh! Here come cats. What? Here come cats can eat the s Here come cats can eat the same thing every day and lick their own butts and people think they're cute as 
half. But not people. Cool. I mean, I like your sense of humor. Is this where you... Maybe I went the wrong way. Gosh darn it. The way Gordon Ramsay hand, hand, handles those eggs, you think he's raising his own kids. Are eggs something special? Maybe I should talk to this person. Lately, my plans have been looking very sad. That's because you're a sad person. Go get to get dunked on. Oh! I don't want to talk to the star expert, space expert, whatever he's called. So, I'm lost. I'm not too sure I did a good. Um, I don't know where I am. I'll figure it out next episode. What are mods? Oh. What? Oh! Is this game called Starbot? My bad! I've been saying Stardust! Oh, jeez! Oh, I got confused. No, no, no! This game is called Stardust! I'm stupid. Alright. Anyways, guys. This is one noisy level. Anyways, oh my god, ah, ah, that was fun, I enjoyed it, but it was tiring after a while, it got repetitive. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys later, bye bye.